Welcome to the final round of Rebound's Pitch Slam 13 competition. I'm Ray Latif, the editor and producer of BevNet's Taste Radio podcast and the host of the Pitch Slam. This is the final round, as I mentioned, which once again is a uh, one-of-a-kind business pitch competition that gives entrepreneurs behind the beer industry's next breakout brands an opportunity to sample their innovative products and showcase their business plans to our expert panel of judges. Six brands from our semifinal round held yesterday have moved on to today's final round. Here are the rules. Today's contestants will have a whopping four minutes to deliver their pitches. If they attempt to go over their four minutes, they'll hear the dreaded gong. No one wants to hear that. Uh, our judges uh, will also have four minutes to ask questions and provide feedback. They have already sampled all the contestants' products. At the end of the competition, the entrepreneur with the best overall pitch and product will receive a $10,000 industry awareness package from Brewbound. The winning entrepreneurs will also receive a free entry into the 2022 Brewbound Live conference. Let's meet or re-meet our judges. First up is Ryan Lake, who is a principal at Arlington Capital Advisors. Ryan has over 20 years of investment banking and commercial banking experience and has sourced, structured, and negotiated debt and equity transactions for beverage and restaurant companies. Up, to, up next is Malika Montero, who is the Executive Vice President and Chief Growth Strategy and Digital Officer for Constellation Brands. In her role, Malika is responsible for consumer and category insights, innovation and new product development across beer, wine and spirits, and the company's strategy, development and business transformation functions. Next, we have Laura Markstein, who is the President of Markstein Sales Company, a fourth generation woman owned and operated wholesale beverage distributor based in Antioch, California. Markstein is now in its 102nd year of business and distributes over 4 million cases annually to 2,000 retailers in the Bay Area. And of course, we have Veronica Vega, who is the Director of Product Development for Deschutes Brewery, where she oversees new innovations, their pilot brewery, and barrel program. All right. All that being said, it's time to hear our first pitch for the final round of Brewbound Pitch Slam 13. And that is Donna Katz from G's Hard Ginger Beer. Donna? Yeah. G'day. My name is Donna, and I'm the founder of G's Dried Hard Ginger Beer in San Francisco Bay Area. I moved to Napa Valley in 2013, began dry farming a small block of grapevines organically by hand and making restrained style wine. I started fermenting ginger for my own gut health, incorporating foraged and seasonal ingredients, quickly came to realise I was making beverages I couldn't buy, ones that had no added sugar, craft with only real ingredients, and that just made me smile. Then the Aussie in me was like, well, why isn't there any alcohol in this tasty beverage? With superfood having proven ginger benefits and consumers wanting cleaner alcohol options to support their active and healthier lifestyles, I saw a problem, found a solution, and totally rolled up my sleeves. First to market in 2018, with a new category of ginger-based beverages, G Shelf Stable Brews combined fruits, flowers, citruses, botanicals and spices that are absurdly aromatic, tasty and refreshing, and that keep you feeling great with none of the sugar highs and lows, because we ferment to bone dry and don't add any sugar or artificial sweeteners. So why now, and what do we know about the US beverage alcohol consumer? What we know is that approximately 70% of men and only 30% of women drink beer. They're not shocking stats. But what that really means is that 50% of the adult drinkers in this country do not drink beer. And they've been itching for alternatives, especially women. Mostly, we all just want to fit in at every occasion. Geez is beyond beer. Ready to drink, ready to mix, ready to pair. Superb standalone and food friendly, or the ultimate aromatic and clean canvas for any cocktail. And if you're anything like me, both. Mostly, we all just want to fit in. Like I said, fun fact about ginger, it ranks third as the most ginger beer, I should say. It ranks third as the most popular cocktail mixer in the United States. So where is G's at? As a one gal band, I humbly take pride in having built these solid relationships to date. And our quality beverages are speaking for themselves. Our traction compelling, our velocity is growing. Consumers agree, unsolicited media agrees. And industry buyers see it too. In the words of our target buyer, G's, G's represents a new category. It's what consumers will want next. It's specialty 
more and more eyes are pointing to the specialty category. And just like Big Wine opened the door to crafted wines and Big Beer to craft beer, so too is Big Specialty and now seeing a keen shift to craft specialty. Wellness is a hot commodity and G's is positioned in the fastest growing RTD category. We're awakening the $1.6 billion sleepy household category of ginger beer and doing it in a cleaner and better for our planet way. Because quality ingredients matter, transparency and sustainability matters, regenerative farming and farm workers matter, and our next generation matters. So is this a scalable model? It sure is. Ginger has gone from exotic to mainstream and proudly holds its place in many ingredients in non-alcoholic as well as beverage alcohol brands. Just think about what you buy. We've got our eyes on thoughtful growth and the other half of that equation is supply chain. Demand for ginger as well as supply, both imports and processing, are seeing compounding year on year growth, which is really the best of both worlds. And our other ingredients are appealing, accessible and available, making scalability possible and real. And in today's supply chain constrained environment, that's especially important. We would love to find strategic partnership. This brand has a lot to learn. I have a lot to learn, but we also have a lot to offer. I'm a big believer it's not about who gets a bigger slice of the pie, it's about how we all make our pie bigger, and we can. Winning this competition would, be, would positively change this brand's trajectory, and I'm even more energised thinking about what is, lies ahead and building a culture where everyone, everyone's pies get bigger and we work, play and feel great about ourselves and personally and professionally. The horizon ahead for G's is pretty. We're building something that's got spirit, tenacity, <laughs>
the benefit of the velocity of a hard seltzer or a beer, but you're differentiated, um, and not getting yourself relegated to the part of the store where the velocity is going to be more like a traditional non-alcoholic ginger beer. Um, Veronica, we, we also saw a lot more retailers on a slide today as well, which um, you know, sounds like the, the concept is proving itself out. Um, but I wonder, I mean, is that something you look at and say, okay, yes, they've got this good base they, from which to build on, or is it just they need to keep growing in different retailers to, to really stand out at this point? Yeah, I mean, I'm wondering, since it is retail-driven, how you will incorporate consumer feedback on flavor and your future flavor development. Um, because, it, you know, it, it is, uh, we've heard from others today, you have six months on the shelf to prove whether something's working or not, and so you, stuff has to happen in the background um, in order to get that feedback and get that confidence to that retailer that, no, I've done the work to, you know, um, get consumers and get their feedback on flavor. So I'm curious um, what your plan is there. Yeah, again, comes back to building a, a team of, of, you know, with people that can focus on some of those mm -hmm. things as well. And I see that as imperative. You know, I've been working on, you know, the foundations of, of product and brand and, and getting into the locations that we've been at right now and looking now to bring on a, a salesperson that can help to drive more of, of, of the demand side of the equation, as well as some support in the you know, marketing slash branding world that can really look into some of the data and analysis and help us to, to, you know, to funnel to this place of being able to communicate, being able to talk, being able to connect more with those consumers. Great stuff. All right, great start to the show. Thanks so much. <clears throat>